Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you the text portrait effect in Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing you want to do is type down your text, you know, your lyrics, your quote, whatever you want. And you basically want to make a brush preset out of it because you don't want to type it multiple times. It's a lot easier to just click, you know, twice than, you know, copy and paste or type it down twice. So you want to press on the marquee tool, go over it, press edit, define brush preset, and then just name it whatever you want. I'll name it Drake because I have a picture of Drake. Now, if you go in the brush right here, you can see it's selected now you want to make two layers move it underneath the original layer so your portrait your picture whatever you want to make the last layer black so um select black in the color picker and press alt backspace or control backspace depending on where it's placed if you select it in the first square you want to press alt backspace if it's selected in the second square right here you want to press command or control backspace so now that i have a black background um, I want to now press on the top layer here. You don't want to do anything with the second one. You want to right click, go to create clipping mask. And now it's going to be completely black. Now this is where you add the text. So make the text white. You want to select on the brush and then you just want to spam it. So I usually select, you know, different brush sizes just because I don't want the text to be all the same size. So I'll do like three and then make it bigger Then one, two, three, make it smaller. Maybe do like five, one, two, three, four, five. Make it slightly bigger, you know, so it varies in shape and stuff like that. If you want the lyrics to just pop up on somebody's face and not the background, you would have to cut out the background and delete it first. That way the text would only apply to the face or whatever is, you know, on the layer. Here the background's on the layer, so, so obviously it's going to apply to the background, but yeah, I'm just going to finish it off right here. And yeah, that's basically the tutorial. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you can apply this to uh, whatever you're doing if you're a musician if you're an artist if you want to do this with album artwork or anything like that this is a simple tutorial and you just want to cover it up until there's like not a lot of black spaces but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button my name is steven and i'll see you in the next one Stars